Gan Shalom Makyam, Oni Gaval praise, Oni Glory to Yahweh, by Sham, Yahweh Shai, by Shama Kakadesh, the Bani to the Elder Apostles, the Great Nose Known, who teach him real well, and Shalom to the sincere Akyam, spreading his truth and sincerity. Shalom. In this video, I want to go over an article that is a modern day example of the possibility of um, you know, someone, you know, a female, uh, conceiving twins that come out looking different. Um, this is uh, the article on dailymail.co.uk and it says a mother reveals she's forced to explain to strangers that her mixed race twins are related because one has brown hair and darker skin while its fair skinned brother has blue eyes and blonde hair. And the fair skin refers to um, you know super white people or super white person. Um, and before I'm going to start up, there's no such thing as a mixed race because as it says in Numbers chapter 1 verse 18, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So um, your descendants is determined by your father. So there's no such thing as a mixed race because you are what your father is. That's the same thing that's going on with these two children in this article, you see. But like I said, this video is just, uh, you know, to, to show you that, you know, this is a modern day example of a female that is able to bear um, twins that come out looking different. Just like, you know, the account concerning Jacob and Esau. You know, Jacob being, you know, the, uh, the forefather of the Israelites, so good Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but also those who were scattered among the heathen nations, the Maduglag, the heathen nations, but his lineage does go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, according to their father's seed line. And Esau refers to Esau, Edom, the super white men upon the earth, you know, who's also be referred to as the devil and Satan in the Bible. So it says, Jade Ball, 32, from Salford, gave birth to, to, to twin boys, Coy and Clay, in April last year. Clay, born with blue eyes, blonde hair, while Cole, has, while Cole has brown eyes and dark skin. Twins are a mix of their white British mother and half Jamaican father, Kate. Like we already explained, there's no such thing as mixed race. They are what the father is. Um, it says that her father is half Jamaican. Uh, there's no extra information on what you know his parents um, are precisely you know, whether his his father's Jamaican or whether his mother's Jamaican so I'm not going into that because this, that's not the information that I'm able to provide so it says a mom of biracial twin sons has revealed how she's forced to explain that the boys are twin brothers because strangers can't believe that they're related due to the difference in their hair and skin color. Jade Ball, 32 from Salford, Greater Manchester, is mom to 15-month-old Clay, who was born with blue eyes and blonde hair, and Cole, who has brown hair, brown eyes, and dark skin. The mother of three says that the twins are a mix of her, who is white British, and their partner Kate, who is half Jamaican. The odds of a mixed race couple having twins of dramatically different color are a million to one. So yeah, this is what the children look like, you know, and you know, the biblical account of Jacob and Esau, you know, Jacob came out looking more like him, you know, like the boy on the left. And Esau, you know, he came out looking like this little guy. You know, being a super white person. So, this is Genesis chapter 25 from verse 19. This is concerning the sons of Isaac. It says, and these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begat Isaac. And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife. The daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padanaram, the sister to Laban, the Syrian. 
And Isaac entreated the Lord Jehovah for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord Jehovah was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. So at first, you know, Rebekah, she couldn't conceive any children, you know. And eventually Isaac, he prayed to the Heavenly Father. And the Heavenly Father hearkened unto him. You know, and then she was able to conceive. Verse 22. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went and cried of the Lord Jehovah. So at first she wasn't able to conceive. Then she was able to conceive. But then she experienced this strange phenomenon that was going on in her belly. You know. Verse 23. And the Lord Jehovah said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from their bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. And the elder shall serve the younger. So she was being told that she would receive twins and they would both become different nations upon the earth. And like I said earlier, you know, she begat Jacob and Esau. Jacob, you know, is the forefather of the Israelites and Esau is the forefather of the Edomites. And, you know, this was, a, was already a representation of um, what was going on was already a rep representation of the struggle and the fight that we would have as two different nations. You see, because right now you see that, you know, there already is a, 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 a certain hatred, you know, a certain strife between the, our two nations, you see. It also says that one people shall be stronger, which refers to the Israelites. And eventually Esau, who was born first, they shall become our slaves. They're going to become the slaves, you know, the Israelites, just like these other nations. You know, so this was already a, a little prophecy within itself. You know, verse 24, when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red, all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So Esau came out, and they looked at him, and he was like, hey. He looks, he looks kind of red, you know, but that's also what his name implies. His name implies, you know, that his skin pigmentation is withered away because in the Hebrew, his name is Ashashua, which means withered away as he is. And what is withered away? His skin pigmentation. So you're able to see the blood through his skin, you know, when they perform too much exercise, you know, when they... Uh, have been in the sun for too long, when they have been in the cold for too long, when they drank too much alcohol, you know, their uh, um, their skin turns red, you know. That's also what we can see, you know, over here. Here's a little a picture which is an even better representation because both these parents are dark skin, which, you know, both Isaac and Rebecca were dark skin. The parents in the... Um, in the article, you know, one was dark skin and the other was so-called white. You know, but this is a, a, a way better representation of what actually happened in the account of Jacob and Esau, which Esau came out looking like this, and Jacob was just normal, a normal skin uh, skin tone. But you know, concerning the example with them turning red, we can see that they get these tanning lines that turn red. You know. And the reason they're being compared to an hairy garment is because back in the days, they also used to uh, dye certain skins in different colors. This is Exodus chapter 35 and verse 7. And Rem skins dyed red and Bedra skins and Shittim. This is, so this is the example where Rem skin was in the, dyed in the color red. You know, hence they referred to him as, hey, he looks like, you know, a hairy garment. Verse 26, and after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob, and Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. So when Jacob came out, they didn't say anything concerning the way that he came out, because he, all, he, he, he already looked like all the people upon the earth. 
he was dark skinned. And it says, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, which was a representation of what would happen in the latter days. Because if we go to um, the book of Second Esther, chapter 6, And it says, 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 8, And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. You see? For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of the follower. And the end of the world means the end of an age. This is going to be the end of Esau's age. We're, we're in that end right now. Because Esau, Edom, the circle of women upon the earth is being exposed to the serving the prophets of Yahweh Shem you know. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonder. And we know that the wicked refers to Esau, Eden, the circle of white men upon the earth, according to Malachi chapter 1 and 4 and Genesis chapter 36 and 1. So they're being exposed. So we know that we are in the, the, the period of time in which Esau is ruling. You know, going back to 2 Esther chapter 6, verse. Nine for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it. The followers, you see. So, once these so called white people are taken under rulership, that's when we, the Israelites, you know, shall be the next one to rule, you know, which is going to be an everlasting kingdom set up on the Yahweh Shai, you know. So, going back to Genesis chapter 25 and verse 6, where it says that Jacob held. Uh, took hold on Esau's heel. That's a representation of these Edomites, you know, being taken out of power, which already was a, a prophecy in itself. And his name was called Jacob, and Isaac was three score years old when she bare him. Gone. So yeah, you know, to summarize this video, um, you know, this is a. Uh, Mother Day example of a female um, bearing, you know, children that look totally different. One is dark skinned and one is a so-called white person. Um, went over how they are with their fathers, that there's no such thing as a biracial or mixed race. Of course, in the book of Genesis 25, the most I did make a division because he wanted to establish two separate nations um, through um, through the children that, Re that Rebecca uh, bore. You see, so yeah, we heard this out. Uh, this this lesson was edifying, and I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. The bonus to the elder apostles, great millstone, who teach and rule well, and shall I want to the sincere actions furnish truth and sincerity.